I was offered a chance to have my sleeve transfer to a to a bypass. What would you guys do? I've never had any pain for my sleeve. What's the difference? I currently have the sleeve and it failed. The ba the ga the bastard bypass will make it will basically reset my surgery again, but it'll make it so I can't ever have sugar again the rest of my life, and I got to take vitamins the rest of my life. I had a bariatric surgeon come in the other day and donate fifty dollars, and he offered to do it for me to convert my sleeve to a bypass. What's the news, Kyle? I uh, I don't know. Um, I got that message uh, in our WhatsApp the other night from Zach, and it was that little clip of wings. And I guess like right after we recorded the show the other night, he announced that he's considering getting a a, a second weight loss surgery. Uh, and and don't worry, it won't happen. But 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 somebody in his chat, <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, it's important. Like, like it's important for people to like keep their expectations where they're supposed to be. This is just a funny little lark. He'll never do it. Um, but but somebody in his uh, in his comments, I guess, donated him like fifty bucks and was like, hey. I, hello, everybody. <laughs> Dr. Nick here. And uh, he told him, you know, he's Dr. Oh. Nick, and he would happily give him a surgery for free. He said, hey, Wings, come on down to my clinic. I'll, I'll cut you open, make your stomach a quarter of a size that it is now, and you'll be set. And Wings is on stream like, I think this might be a good idea. <laughs> he's, he, he, he's, didn't, he didn't get the Dr. Nick reference. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm making that up. An actual uh, doctor. Oh. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Riviera. What I'm saying, what I'm is the kind of doctor who's on Twitch offering free surgeries to people is probably a Dr. Nick. Yes. <laughs> probably a kook. I, I, I needed to hear it out loud like you said it. I'm like, how do you know it's not a real doctor? Oh, yeah. Real doctors don't watch Wings on Twitch, probably. Probably. And, and, so here's the I'd thing. Though. Let's that. say that you're a successful. No, let's say you're a good weight loss surgeon. Practice is struggling a little bit. You're down in Florida, man, trying to drum up a little business. Hey, here's a guy. Here's he could be he could be your Jared Fogel. He's yeah. already got the creepy past with <laughs> young girls. Christ, <laughs> He's already an enormous person. Like two out of three. Like like you make this guy lose weight. He's Jared Fogel in a in a heartbeat. Um, uh, and oh, and so like this guy hops on Twitch and he's like, hey, here's fifty bucks. Would you like to come on down to God knows where it is? I'm just gonna make things up and say you know florida but a that dark just alley it. somewhere dark near alley. Yeah. to be clear but like wings, what? not a pedo and, and also wings do not bring a so knife <laughs> <laughs> like wings is considering it so much i'm like dude did you never stop and think that maybe this is like one of those troll channels that you shut down and he's like yes yeah, show up we're gonna we're gonna have a little operation yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on down I, to my I clinic i wouldn't be okay with taking a surgery free. from a surgeon who solicited me for free on twitch Maybe I'm a worry wart. I'm the kind yeah, of guy, I, I don't have to go to the doctor. Okay, they seek me out. They headhunt me. <laughs> they seek me out. <laughs> <laughs> that, but, so like, on one hand, intellectually, you both sound so right, right? What what kind of, would a top surgeon be watching a Twitch stream offering surgeries to, to heavy guys? Probably no. not. <laughs> but, are you not missing out on opportunities when you turn these things down, yeah. sight unseen? That's right. You may as so well means, agree, and... You know, make except make him travel to you, like make him take the travel expense if he's going to yeah, be free. Your tools. I mean, it, it, a real doctor has a website with a phone number on it, and you can call and you can get that office, and like, you can kind of verify. You could you find can set other that things shit up for fifty dollars. You know, yeah, that. but I PO box and like like one of those answering services. <laughs> I can even that. get a girl to be like, yeah, <laughs> I'll transfer you to Doctor Myers right away. And I'm like, you could even I, do I can all that. Doctor Myers, you got a surgery? <laughs> yes, I'll be right there. Meanwhile, it's my <laughs> girlfriend being like, this is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, what you wouldn't be able to do is get anyone else to like do a bunch of reviews. You wouldn't be able to check the board. Like you could verify that you're real or not. I don't know how. I think that like oh, the American Medical people... Association has a list of actual doctors. I, I, I know that, but let's all be honest and say that we have never, when getting medical care, looked up our doctors on the medical on the list of, of some that's doctors. something that reserve exclusively. We believe for that Twitch diploma. Doctors. <laughs> we be, we believe that diploma yeah, on their wall, like it, like God Himself oh. to put a fucking thumbprint. I, in, I, I the, buy the it right just because of the outfit. Like, the outfit. That's all they, have. That's all they yeah. need is the coat. It's a Halloween costume. It's just a fucking white coat. I mean, <laughs> they look professional. Uh, so Zach is telling me he went to Mexico. <laughs> that's not the U.S. But this guy, the way Kyle told the story, was in the U.S. But I'm not sure. I mean, Kyle might not be sure. I don't know. He didn't mention where the guy's from. He literally uh -huh. said, "Hey, one of my wonderful 
viewers offer oh. 50 bucks and a free surgery. It's supposedly uh, and, the same doctor. So that would be easy for Wings to ah, verify. He could call that guy's office. They could use and, the same tools they did last time. They probably uh, got those laying around. Yeah. Well, hopefully they cleaned them. He's, he's over there doing that like Gordon Ramsay shit before <laughs> surgery. That's how you know you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you just use a new scalpel? Oh, welcome to Mexico, <laughs> no, my friend. This is Mexico. <laughs> uh, so like he, he actually for everyone. Did he actually bring up the like, oh, I might think about a second weight loss surgery, no, no, no. and then would, a guy in the chat oh, yeah. mentioned something, no, or no, no, the no. guy in the chat mentioned it, and then he responded. That way. That way. I have my own strategy for wings. I can solve. I can cure this man. I can, too. Salad. I want yours. Wellbutin. Wellbutin is the hot chick drug. It's the one all well the girls betrayed. are good. Right? Am I well pronouncing it wrong? Yes. What am I saying? Uh, you said well, well butin. It's well butrin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Close. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, so well butrin, it suppresses your appetite, fixes your mood, and increases your um, libido. This is good shit, right? It, it's I thought well butrin lowered your libido. Look again. Oh. It's like the uh, the the it's the drug that the hot chicks. It makes you skinny, want to fuck, and in a good mood. Everyone should be on it. I can't co-sign Every, that. Everyone should be on it. <laughs> but, uh, Woody's but like I, a first adopter, like that guy in like 1705 who's like, I've been taking spoonfuls of mer mercury and I'm horny as hell. <laughs> Woody's like, everyone needs to get on this miracle. I don't know, metal paste? Like, I don't know, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I used it in everything. It was in cosmetics, all sorts like, of what, stuff. If you lived at that time and you saw like a magic metal liquid, you're mm -hmm. not going to insist that's a cure for something? Come on. Right. Yeah. Clearly, you drink that. Yeah, obviously, liquid it's metal. something magic. You've never <laughs> seen liquid metal. I, not <sighs> much of it. No. Not, 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 not a room temperature. Right. No. Mercury's cool. Mercury is ah, probably I see the what coolest you did there. metal. Mercury's room temperature, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I, I don't think he'll do it. I don't think if he does do it, it'll matter. Um, you were... I don't want to go into a whole thing here because because I'd like him to come on the show sometime because I want to do the newlywed game. I want him and his wife to come on and do the newlywed game, you know, where we question them separately mm -hmm. and then we bring them back. And they uh, we asked Wings, what's your favorite position in bed, Kelly? And he said, what is it, Kelly? And she's like, "On with me on top. And he holds the thing up and it's like with someone else or something like whatever his answer is like like in a like in a it would be funny if they both went for funny answers it'd be funny if they both went for so. funny answers yeah. but they try to win that'd be fun it'd be fun to see how little they probably know each other because you Stop. Know. <laughs> <laughs> they've been married for a few years now right am i crazy i have no idea i'm not very plugged in to what's what's going on over there in Winston. i i I honestly don't know if they're really married. I know I have that picture Jesus of it. <laughs> Why are we so in doubt about if they're actually what? married? Prove it. Like, you're the one over here. Let's look up his doctor credentials. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I didn't see I the saw wedding license. Wedding and you're calling photos. me a coot. I saw wings in a top hat. I've seen a, I've seen a man wear a white coat before. It doesn't make him a doctor, like I said. It does make him a doctor. You're doctor wrong. Doctor Who that. is not going to operate on me, but he is a doctor. And wings wore a, wore a top hat, and that woman wore a dress, but that does not make them. You think, you think Wings staged wedding photos? <laughs> he's done. Cr it wouldn't be the craziest it's thing. That easier he's to go to the moon. <laughs> I was that fake too. a wedding. <laughs> It'd be easier to get married than fake a, a wedding. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, but that's that, and that's exactly why he'd fake a wedding. I, I, I haven't. I don't. I want to see the birth certificate. <laughs> and <laughs> birth certificate. Well, that's going to be a problem here. <laughs> Yeah, that, no, I uh, I mean, they I'm probably got my marriage certificate. <laughs> I could totally see Wings being the kind of guy who was like, oh, yeah, did you go get that thing out of the courthouse? You know, the licensee thing? Well, we was in front of the preacher and all. We're married. Oh, okay. Like, like, like we can file our taxes and they won't want any proof or something. Like, like oh, no, here's a picture. <laughs> uh, like, I could totally see them not actually being married. I mean, like, you what do surprise need, me the least after you get married. You have to like have your officiant take it to the courthouse to like file it. Really? And there's a time limit on that. And it's like if they don't file it within a certain period after your wedding, you have to go back to the courthouse again and refile for your wedding mm -hmm. certificate. And it was like it's like a two it's like a three week time period or something after it. And I didn't get a real officiant. I picked one of my friends because we both, my wife and I, thought it would be funny. And it was like two weeks into this process after we got married. We're back from the honeymoon and everything. It's Living like, in sin. It's, 
it's like living in sand. It's there's five days left before like we have to go back to the courthouse. And she's like, did he ever turn that in? And I'm like, I don't know. And I texted him and I'm like, did you ever turn our marriage certificate? in?" And he's like, dude, I definitely will. I am. I, I, I am going to do it after work tomorrow. And I'm like, dude, like, I appreciate you playing along with the bit and everything. This needs to be done now. Like, get, like, don't not tomorrow, okay. today, because I'm not going to wait in line again, and then we're going to change our fucking anniversary and stuff. Like, no, we're not. We're not going to. We're not going we're not, we're not to do that. So just go take it to the goddamn courthouse. You, you clearly have to purpose. change your. I'm pretty change sure you. you ha- I'm not sure. I'm not sure you're married. My well, we got to take him care funny. of. It. After I brought uh, it up to him, he told him that, you like, that he took care of it. No, we know he did because we got the confirmation in the mail, and mm. Lewis literally like. After I explained to him, because in his head, it was like, you just take the form in. Like, we already did the thing. And when I explained, like, no, we have to get married again if you don't turn this in because it's outside of the window of what we got approved for or whatever. And he's like, oh, oh, fuck. Okay. And so, like, <laughs> he left work early and went and did that for us and, like, texted me. He was like, that's all taken care of. And I was like, thank you so much. But, yeah, that's a real thing. You got to be on it. You can't mm-hmm. just, like, be like, oh, they said yeah. I do. This that's is- marriage. Like this is fucking bureaucracy and red tape. This is government mm-hmm. shit. All right. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like Why are you're they not married not until they say you are. <laughs> but I didn't need a passport for it. Didn't need a passport. Wings Wings offered them his. They, they, we don't need that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you sure, preacher? No, I I, I totally would uh, believe that he that he wasn't married. I, I'd say the odds are 75% that he actually is married. 25 bet that like it's like a sham marriage. And she wouldn't know it, by the way. She it would totally be a scenario where she was like red faced on there angry crying when she found out she she wasn't even married dude i love I like, conspiracy kyle just there's no there's no roi for wings to have not gotten married for people <laughs> like, there's, there's nothing I, I, to get there, there, there is it's him it's him like like i like, like i counted on this guy as mistake. a co-worker for years yeah. and it'd be like is wings gonna show up today 90 percent chance he shows up for work tonight yeah <laughs> wait what you would not say that about anybody else like, there's a 99.5 percent chance that yeah, everyone shows it for work tonight as they do every day. But he's not like mm-hmm. that. Not a and by the same right, there's a seventy five percent chance he's really married. I, I I've been like not on board with the wings fussing this whole show until now. <laughs> until <laughs> now, but I he we would do our show from like eight to twelve, and then he would tell me that he missed it the following week because by going till twelve a week ago, I fucked up his sleep schedule. <laughs> it's like you are a 26 year old man you can't stay up till midnight without your sleep schedule yeah. being rocked for a week, <laughs> a week. <laughs> i remember like, you guys at the time would text me at you know 7 58 or whatever and be like you want to do pka and i'm like <laughs> yeah i can hop on they're like wing said one minute ago he couldn't come like, and it's like oh. <laughs> that, he like it just wasn't a given that wings would come no i no, no i bet if they look back what happens sometimes is they, they look at how many shows people missed and his numbers aren't that outrageous. But what they don't know is how many times we like delayed the show or how many times you rolled in mid show and, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, or we delayed we... it. We delayed it. How many times we delayed it? 10 minutes, an hour, a day, two days, mo- anything. Do you remember wanted? when wings and... died? Yeah. What, why, why was he late? Did he sleep in? He slept in for an 8 PM show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He woke up at like, <laughs> 9 30 p.m all, all drowsy and like rolled in like like I mean, a child kyle wakes up at the crack of 7 30 just to get to the show on time i, I it, like like it's just a fucking alarm on your phone <laughs> like, <it's just laughs> yeah. magic. like like there have been times when i had to set my alarm we're gonna do this what we're doing right now we're gonna record mm-hmm. it at 7 p.m we, we usually do around then and so I, my alarm would be set for 6 p.m my wake up alarm that's how bad my sleep schedule would be. But I'd be here. I'd be here fresh out of the shower to me at 7 a.m. <laughs> but oh, I'm yeah. here. Like that motherfucker was the worst. And it's also like, like, it's not like the alarm is going off and it's like, like a train horn going like back to the coal mine, boy. It's no. like it's a podcast, man. Like we just have to sit here and do this <laughs> for a while. Yeah. It's so easy. It's so just easy. Have some res- <laughs> uh, he just didn't have any respect for our time um and uh and, and so yeah uh, i just that that's where i best guess was a is a long time ago maybe maybe it'd be different now. yeah he's a different yeah man. i mean he's Didn't a different he... person like like i would i will say this like like i everybody 
changes over time and sure. like becomes a better or worse version of them shut up down there <laughs> but, uh... <laughs>